Hey, sweeties. Let's talk about gas stoves. First of all, no, the government is not coming to take your gas stoves, but they have been studying the effects of gas stove emissions on indoor air quality. And there's a correlation between gas stoves and asthma in children. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about alternatives to gas um, if that's what you're interested in. But first, please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell. Let's talk about gas stoves. All right, I'm going to refer to my <laughs> notes during this because I want to make sure I get the right information. So, yes, there have been uh, studies by the government, the U.S. government, to um, Look at the effects of gas stoves on your indoor air quality. And in a report that came out in December of 2022, um, the report stated that indoor gas stove use for cooking is associated with an increased risk of current asthma among children and is prevalent in 35% of households in the United States. And the population level implications of gas cooking are lar largely unrecognized. So this report caused a big fuss and, you know, people, politicians, regular people, oh, you're not going to take my gas stoves from me. Nobody's coming to take your gas stoves. This prompted a response from uh, the chairman, Chairman Alexander Hohensarek of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. And he says, um, you know, over the past several days, there's been a lot of attention paid to gas stove emissions and to the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Research indicates that emissions go from gas stoves can be hazardous, and the CPSC is looking for ways to reduce related indoor air quality hazards. But to be clear, I am not looking to ban gas stoves, and the CPSC has no proceeding to do so. So relax. Nobody is coming to take your gas stoves. But it's definitely something that you need to be aware of, the effects of gas um, cooking on your indoor air quality. And I'll put links to where I got all this information. It'll be in the description box. The res and the result of this uh, study that they did found that 12.7% of current childhood asthma uh, in the United States is attributed to gas stoves. And that's on par with secondhand smoke. So what can you do at home um, if you have a gas stove? If you're cooking on gas, which I do, um, first and foremost is always turn on the vent. Every single time you turn on your gas stove or oven, turn the vent on. And that will help to remove some of those fumes from inside your house. Now, of course, those fumes then go to outside your house which is, uh, can affect outdoor air quality, but that's a discussion for another time. <laughs> but for indoor air quality, definitely turn on the vent. If you don't have a vent, then you got to open a window, which will help some. It's not an ideal solution, but it can help. Um, what are some alternatives to gas stoves? Um, there's induction, which is an electric uh, range or stove that works with um, electromagnetism. If you're interested in changing out your gas stove for an induction stove, well, that can come at quite a great expense. However, there is a, um, some possible help with that in forms of tax credits. The United States Inflation Reduction Act um, includes rebates of up to $840 for buyers purchasing electric or induction stoves. And you can check out that act or, um, and I'll put a link to the act itself in the description or check with your tax professional um, about trying to qualify for assistance in switching from gas to electric to induction. Um, or you could buy something like this. This is a portable induction burner. I got this from Aldi years ago. It's the Ambiano brand. Um, it was about $40, $45. 
Um, and I mean, it works fine. The only problem is that when you're cooking on induction, see how it has this little circle here? This little circle here, this is where your pot has to fit. And I like to cook in really large pans. So this would not work with a pan that's larger than this circle. Fit, say a saucepan about this size. I think this is two quarts. So if you're making soup for one or two, something this size would be fine. If you're trying to um, use a large pan, like I like to do a big one pot meal, it's just not gonna work on this um, burner. But uh, it is an inexpensive alternative to gas. And there's plenty of other brands around. So you might have to look around to find one that is right for you. Um, one of my favorite chefs here on YouTube, TikTok, all that chef, John Kung, he uses an induction wok, a new wave induction wok. And I've been eyeballing that. And I'm thinking about getting it. The um, carbon steel wok sits inside um, an induction burner. Um, it's fantastic. It looks fantastic. I want to definitely try that out. I'll put a link to it in the description box. Induction cooktops only work with um, ferrous metals. So has to be stainless steel, cast iron, carbon steel. Um, it works with enamel coated cast iron. And it also works with um, some products that are sort of layered with, with different metals, but you'll have to check with the manufacturer. It does not work with straight aluminum or straight copper. But if you look at products like caraway cookware, the Always Pan, I believe, works with them. I'll have to check. And Ninja uh, Never Stick Cookware works on induction. So there are some options if you want to switch from gas and use electricity. But there's also, <laughs> there's always more to think about. The electricity that powers your home, that will power your induction stove, in most of the country is going to be made from fossil fuels, which has, you know, um, using uh, oil or coal, which is another way of polluting the environment. Your indoor air quality will be better, but the outdoor air quality, not so much. So there's all kinds of um, different things to think about when you want to, uh, if you're considering alternatives for gas. But the bottom line is, Nobody is coming to take your gas stove, at least not right now, but I would expect for the standards to change. Please subscribe to Sweet Savant. Hit that thumbs up, that notification bell, and y'all have a delicious day.